Oh yeah, okay. Um iron is it. Let's take uh just Hmm. Yeah, that much will do. Okay. Alright, to make iron bars you do pretty much the same as a fence. But instead you do it with iron, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Gives you sixteen iron bars. That should be enough. And to make the I'll just make a crafting table and do it outside. So we can concentrate on this. It doesn't look too bad. It'd be better if I had actual Oh, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's cracked stone or stone bricks. I could always make some, but it's easier just to mine them from a stronghold. Oh well. But yeah, to make uh, a anvil, you need to make iron blocks. And to do that, you do every single block filled with an iron bar. Like that. And to make it, you'll need three three blocks of iron. And then you arrange the one, two, three there with one, two, three, four. And that gives you the shape of an anvil. Um and the cool thing about anvils is they are like gravel, but even more dangerous. So if I dropped it from there and stood underneath it, I would probably die. But you do this and it falls and it's already damaged quite badly because I dropped it from that height. But we can always make more. I mean, I do want more than one. Okay, so let's just do this. And as you can see, because I dropped it from a height, it's already quite badly damaged. But if I just place one. Uh, here it's not. So we'll just use this one for the time being. Although I will need more enchantments, but for now I'm going to quickly make a diamond pickaxe just for demonstration. I know it's kind of wasting diamonds, but after a while I will need it. So let's just use up these. Oh, I killed an enderman as well. Gave me an ender pill. I was like, thank you very much. I might take that top layer off because it looks quite stupid. Anyway. Um. Oh, well, I need to enchant it. I've only just realised that. What do I have on this pickaxe? Efficiency. Okay, I'll get a. Mm, what's the lowest it'll give me? Where is it? There it is. Three. Can I get a five? Six. I'll do six. Efficiency two, and I'm breaking one. So, if you put those. Oh, damn, I'm lagging out. If you put both of the enchanted pickaxes in there, and repair them, if they're both about dead, you don't get the enchantments back. But that's what's cool about a anvil. They're designed for enchanted weapons. Let's just put some put some torches down to keep me safe. Yeah, they're they're designed for enchanted weapons. So you put the one that's least damaged in here, you put that one there, and that one there, and as you can see, you get efficiency two and I'm breaking two. Efficiency one and breaking one, efficiency two and I'm breaking one. So it just took like the best one from that and put it into there and added like the, those two together put it in there and now I have a good pickaxe and I very doubt you're going to have 11 levels just to get that quite decent pickaxe but if you switch them around it costs more, it costs 29 which is quite weird but I would rather pay 11 and then you can rename it which costs an extra seven points I think to so something like I don't know God whoops 
didn't realise that he did that. But yeah. But I'm not going to bother renaming it. I'm just going to call it the Diamond Pickaxe. And get a really good pickaxe for just 11 levels. And, um... Yeah, that's, that's about it, really. But you can use it for... I don't think you can use it for bows. You can only use it for tools. Uh, like... I don't think you can... You might be able to use it for a bow, actually. Because that's for enchanted items, and the only two things you can't enchant is a... Uh, is shears and is a hoe. So I presume you can use it for that. But let's just try it, try out this pickaxe. Look, it's a really good pickaxe. I've mined about four blocks and it still hasn't even gone down yet. Look, after like uh, six or seven blocks it's only just gone down because of that um, uh, unbreaking two. And because it has efficiency, it mines blocks a lot quicker. Let me just, this one has efficiency 1. That My spade has efficiency 1. And as you can see, it's pretty quick. And a pickaxe is just as good. Because of the efficiency on it. But I think that's about it on the uh, um, anvils and stuff like that. Let's run down here and put this back. Okay, so okay. Oh yeah, another thing I was going to make is these contraptions. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Whoops. Oh, I don't know why I have those like that. It'll be alright. I think you only need four. You might need more. I'll take... I'll take that much. Okay. Uh, where's my redstone? I'm going to show you how to make a clock and a compass. If this is right. So, I think this is a compass. You do, like diamond shape and then one redstone in the middle yeah and you get a compass and then to make a clock I think you do the same but with gold yeah there you go and now oh it's called it a, they call it a watch now so you can stand here and the little yellow bit is the sun the blue bit is the sky black bit is the moon and that will eventually change and then this compass points me to the direction of my spawn so that right there or somewhere over in that direction well no it is in that direction right here is my spawn and I turn over here and directly to my right is my spawn I do the same turn around it's right behind me etc as you can see this clock is now changing as well so they're pretty useful tools but um, I think you need paper to make a map, I'm not sure. We'll probably cover that in the next episode, or do something else. But thanks for watching, and I shall see you again next time. Uh, if you like my co uh, videos, uh, press the subscribe button above my somewhere. Yep, above my something and somewhere. And it will notify you every time I upload a video. So thanks for watching, and I shall speak to you again soon.